In these problems, we're dealing with uh, what are called inscribed angles. And just as a, an introduction to that, let's say we have a, a circle here, a rather lopsided circle, and we have a center. If you were to draw in a 90 degree angle here, you would cut off an arc that is one fourth of the circle. And since we know the degrees around the outside of the circle are 360, this actually comes out to 90 degrees in what we call arc length. So the central angle cuts off the same number of degrees of arc length. Now one other relationship you need to know here is what if this same arc length were cut off by an angle that started on the opposite side of the circle. So over there to over there. Well if you were to measure that you would find this angle here is exactly half of the central angle. So that's 45 degrees in there. And it's that relationship um, that's going to govern everything in these problems. So let's, let's try a couple of these. The first one says if the measure of RQT, now that is a central angle, it starts in the center of the circle, is 96. So that means this is 96. That means the arc length here is going to be 96. What is RST? Well, that's the angle that starts from the opposite side of the circle. And as I mentioned, it's going to be half of that. So 96 divided by 2. So that's going to be 48 degrees, and that's our answer. All right, let's look at another one. This might be new terminology for you. This one says the measure of the arc, RST. So you'd start at R, you'd go to S, and all the way around to T. So that huge part of the circle, that's the arc length you're trying to find in this one. The question says if the measure of R angle RST, that's this one, is 43 degrees what is the measure of the arc length. So this is an angle that starts at the opposite side of the circle. The arc it cuts off is this one here, arc RT. It's not the one we're looking for, but it'll help us figure out the one we're looking for. Remember, this arc length is going to be double this, so that's 86 degrees out here. Now we want to find from here all the way around to here, well that's just the rest of the circle. So I would subtract 86 from 360 to get that answer. And I think that would be 274 degrees. All right, let's look at one more. Now, this one's pretty tricky. And it, at first, it might look a little bit impossible. But if you take it step by step, you can figure out everything in here. It says, find the measures of the indicated angles. And they give you one angle, 54 degrees. And then we've got angles A, B, C, and D. So what I would do is start writing in some things that you can know about this. This angle right here is 54. It starts from the opposite end of a circle and cuts off this arc length right here. So you can know that this arc length is 108. That's double that, the degrees of that angle. Now, is there any other uh, angle that cuts off that same arc? Well, yeah, there is. Angle B here does the same thing. Notice the endpoints are the same. So B, now this is a central angle, so it's going to be exactly that same number of degrees, 108. So we've got B already. We're, we've made one step. Now look at C and B. Those are a linear pair. So all you would have to do is subtract 108 from 180 to get C. So that's pretty easy, and that should be 72 degrees. Now let's see if we can figure out any other ones. Um, here's an interesting thing. This angle right here cuts off a diameter. That means there's 180 degrees in arc length here. Since this starts from the opposite side of the circle, this total then is going to be uh, 90 degrees. So I can find out angle D by subtracting 54 from 90, and that should be 36. All right, only one more to go. So let's look at angle A, and what can we know about angle A? Aha, uh -huh. well, if I draw out there and there, what I get is this same arc length that we started with. And this starts from an opposite side of the circle, not from the central angle. So A must also be 54 degrees, just like the first one we started with. So pretty complicated, by step, but step by step, you can figure out all of the angles uh, in this drawing. So that's a little bit of work with inscribed angles.